Hello vegetable lovers. Here at Living Roots we are starting seeds today. And um, the seeds that we're starting are squash and zucchini and onion. And I wanted to give everyone who's in the viewing audience a brief intro into how we start seeds um, and how it's different from other places. So these seeds that you see here in the tray, these are squash seeds. They are um, from Costata Romanesco squash. Um, we don't just grow, you know, yellow and um, green squash and zucchini. We grow a variety of them. Um, it's part of having um, multiple different um, palettes to please. Um, we want to make sure we have the basics that cover everybody and some delicious extras, um, you know, different specialty varieties. So, um, these are Costata Romanescos and I'm sure they're going to be delicious. And you can see I've placed all the seeds that we will put into this one tray already in here. And how I will plant them is just put the seed in, cover it up. Push it in about half an inch, cover it up. Push these two in half an inch, cover them up. And we do one, one, two, because these seeds have decent germination, pretty good. It's in the 90 percentile. That means that more than 90% of the time, they're gonna germinate. However, we wanna make sure we get very good germination here. So we do one extra seed for every three. So one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So that's pushing the seeds in. Today we're also going to be doing some patty pan squash, some eight ball zucchini. These are already at the farmer's market and coming into CSA baskets right now. We've got sunburst pan squash. And got saffron OP summer squash. So those are the four varieties. We're going to put these other varieties into these two trays over here. Um, and what we'll do once all the seeds are pushed in is we'll put them op up over here and we'll give them some water. So last week I did that with these uh, cucumbers. These are painted serpent cucumbers and it looks as though they didn't germinate well. However, that's not the case. The case being that you can see here there's little holes in our cucumbers um, trays and that's because a mouse got in there and ate our seeds. So we had decent germination. We just had hungry mice. Um, but we are actually starting them in here to prevent some mice from getting in here, so we'll see. Um, last week we also started some leeks, and these leeks um, are just starting to come up. You can see the difference. Um, you know, it looks like the cucumbers are kind of up and ready, and leeks are, are onion, and the onion allium uh, family. So they're taking their time. And then um, in each of these trays, in each of these leek trays right here, there are 450 at least leek seeds. Um, and you can see right here, see right in the middle there, that little black dot on top of that green stem is the seed that the leek popped out of. So that's about to, you know, shed its seed and um, eventually we'll have far more um, leeks in here. But we started these last week and we started eight trays so they'll overwinter and by next spring we'll have leeks at the farmers market. Today we also started onions. These are Walla Walla onions here. Um, you know they're um, we started four trays of those. The Walla Walla sweet Spanish onions is what these are. Um, so when we start seeds, what we do is um, 
generally we start them in those trays. And we use this potting soil. This is Dr. Earth um, Premium Organic Soil. It has um, nutrients, probiotics to uh, ensure good growth, um, and it's very hydrating for the seeds. Um, we use organic soil. We also use organic seeds. We plant them in an organic garden. Um, we're not certified organic, but everything you see here is organic. Um, so here's an example just to show you of these select seeds. This is um, from Johnny's Seed Company. Um, so uh, this is the process of starting seeds um, in an organic fashion.